Hello, family Lisa, and welcome back to the channel. So it's actually just 5:30 a.m. on a Friday, and I'm up early because, to be honest, I haven't been sleeping well. But also, I need to move na because I am sleeping over at the Kokoro house because my topic for my vlog collab with Cams is what's it like to be married but again disclaimer i am only going to spend one night there i would have loved to stay longer but syempre hindi rin kaya ng schedules namin and i'm also flying out in two days so been reef naman ako ni cams na usually friday they just spend the day in alabang because umiiwas sila sa makati traffic so we are going to do some errands for the house, like groceries. We'll have dinner with Camille's Achi and stuff. So, first agenda for the day, though, is to work out, which is why I have workout clothes. Na ako. So, anyway, yeah, before we start with this video, as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys will like this video. Okay, so it's a Friday morning here at the Kokoro household, and their usual routine before camps will work out at 9 a.m. is magluluto daw siya ng food. I don't really eat breakfast, but since I'm Yoni's wife for the day. So the, the, yeah. the house is Kahakoro house today. Okay. Ano, ano, ano? Kahakoro house? I love that. Kahakoro house. Okay, so madam, what are we going to cook or heat? We're not gonna cook. We're just gonna do an avo toast for the house. For the hubs lang ah, kasi... For us also, you don't want... I do fasting eh. Ah, yeah. sad. But sige, after, for after workout. Okay, and then... And then just cut them to small, just dice them to small pieces. Hirap nung mabubuking ako na hindi ako marunong magluto. Ito na po, dial 1-800-LISA. For, for don't worry. a brand new wife. Pag may joa na ako, I promise I'll learn how to cook. Uh huh. <laughs> Nata joa ka na de ba? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, please. Okay. okay smaller than that, dapat smaller. Smaller pa. Ay mo ko tulungan. Sige na nga ako nang okay. Gali bite, bite, bite. You have to say it's good. <laughs> Hashtag pressure. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> so Kams, why do you think it's important that even if you're busy and married na, na you still like live a healthy lifestyle? Well, <laughs> of course, I feel like that's part of self-love, right? About taking care of yourself. And feeling ko kasi when you eat healthy, when you work out, when you're more active with your life, you're also you also feel better about yourself. It, yeah. It's really true, like the hormones, like you're actually doing something. Parang you become more productive also, you become just a generally more positive person. So you really make time for your workout? Yeah, I, re I feel really bad when I don't work out or like I see you guys working out. Tapos, tagal ko nangyong work out. <laughs> okay, okay. I think it helps to have friends who work out. Oh, Actually, lahat uh, tayo. Yes. Hmm. You had a good workout. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, think, Christina Luisa. Yeah, I think it's good to have friends who are also like super duper into fitness and stuff. So at least meron kang like constant reminder also na okay. Hashtag fit friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need iced coffee for me to function serve you. But uh how to make iced coffee. You don't know how to make iced coffee. Your real wife doesn't know how to make coffee. I don't know now. Popsies, you know how to make coffee and then you just put ice, you weirdo. Is that it? Yes. You want almond milk, we have vanilla almond milk. So you can use the coffee then. Magigising kasaka totohanan. Gising naman. You only drank two two cups this morning. Oh my God! First, first fight. Fight with me, over <laughs> Oh my God! Pressure. Oh my God! So much tension. But I want more. You want more? You keep asking for more. Just more. She went there. So close. 
Bobby, mm -hmm. lunch is served. Lunch is served. Yeah. Thank you, Wi-Fi. <laughs> Wi-Fi, talaga. What, 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 do we, what do we have for lunch? Salmon, squid, Salmon. and salmons. veggies. Thank you, thank All you. healthy. Did you did you cook it yourself? Um, no, um. some, <laughs> very little. Thank you. So sweet. <laughs> okay guys, so time check. It's 3 p.m. So recap muna ng day namin. We worked out at 9. And then nagluto. And then we had lunch. And then we worked a bit. So now, we are getting ready. Kasi look for boys for Lisa. Um, Just kidding. Why, why <laughs> he do this muna? After na yung boys. <laughs> we're gonna go walk the dogs first. And then we're gonna go do the groceries. And then yeah, maybe make sure our husband still loves us. How do you manage your time? Kasi like yun nga, ang dami mong ini iniisip. Like work mo pa lang, tapos may business ka pa, diba? And then may house ka pa na kailangan asikasuhin. Yeah. So how do you balance or manage your time? Tapos may yoni ka pa. I think it's really just taking it one step at a time. So really just not trying to do everything all at once. You just have to parang have a certain routine so you know that you've got it handled and you won't get all these little details overwhelm you. So at least when you're ready to take the, the, these things on, parang you won't feel so overwhelmed. Oh, oh. and parang if you need man if you don't have the time to like manage your time, because syempre some like things just pop up, diba, all of a sudden and you're not able to plan for these things. Again, just don't get ahead of yourself. Do it and then do it one step at a time kasi matatapos mo na naman yan. Would you see you're an, you're an organized like wifey? I think so, but I would also say that I'm normal and it's not I'm not always organized. So, yeah. and we manage. Just don't be too hard on yourself. More Q&A later. Okay, so this wifey is about to head out. mag o kami ni Kams. So, top is from Pomelo Fashion and the skirt Scored pala. I got from Taipei. Looking for me to let's go. Take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no more. Let me turn behind the moon. Tell me you'll be on the soon. I'm gonna out here tayo. Even if magwalk lang tayo ng dog. Kasi baka may mamit tayo. And plus points. Ano baka may mamit? Kaya ako kala ka na. Sorry, hubby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, hubby. Running event, but I'm not out Stars, but how come the stars don't shine? When is day? How come the sky at night? Cam. Yeah. So, since we are doing groceries, are you going to pay for my stuff also? Um, we're buying stuff for my husband, right? For <laughs> her husband. Eh, wifey, so selfish. So selfish. <laughs> so guys, fast now. Then it's for the hobby because it's healthy. Pero ikaw magbabaya. Looking for me to let's go. Take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no more. 
Take me to the moon. Tell me you'll be on the Any dog? Hey, you know what? Hey, you know what? Hey, you know So guys, it's 10.30. We are back at the Kokoro house. What Everyone's house? super sleepy. Kakoro? Our house. Ka Kakoro, right? Kakoro. Kakoro house. Kakoro house, guys. Anyway, so we're all super sleepy and tired now, but there's three kids here, so you have to check on them first and clean the pee. You already knew that. So guys, before we sleep, I have three questions for Caps about marriage. Okay, so first question, any big adjustments you had to make after getting married? Any big adjustment? Yeah. Or parang something that was a bit hard or a bit difficult for you na it took you some time to get used to. Wala eh. Really? Yeah. Or talaga, like, kunwari, even as simple as, parang syempre, when you live with someone, you start to see their habits, or like, maybe some, talaga. But so yeah, was, even our friends would ask us, like, any adjustments, like, even though we've never lived together, parang, it was so easy for us. It, there wasn't any big adjustments. It was more, mm -hmm. just me learning new things, and finding out that I enjoyed, like, you know, cooking. No big adjustments, nothing. Or like, kunwari, yun, before sabi mo, hindi ka marunong mag-cook. So like, were you scared? Or parang learning how to cook? Parang yun so ba? So I guess my adjustments weren't really as a partner. So yeah. it's not really in, in relation to Yoni, but it's more in relation to us moving in together, like, in this house. Like, it's more mm. about becoming a homemaker as opposed to me as a wife. Because it's like, for us, it was so easy for us to just we really get along so well so there really was no adjustments at all like i'm not even lying i i wish it was more exciting but wala talaga it was really more me learning how to be a homemaker so just you know like learning the ropes of like kasi syempre from bunso to a homemaker so even the little things i didn't know like okay what kind of detergent should i be buying or like how how much should we be allotting for our food how much should we be allotting for like this household how much should we be allotting for you mga those things lang or like what's our schedule like like how will our schedule like going to work will be like like drivers and it's really more about the day-to-day -day homemaker stuff housekeeping How, was it like is it hard like kunwari, okay example na lang from what you said like managing your finances like how do you guys do it are you okay to share what your setup is mm. or like how do you parang kunwari, na grocery tayo kanina so how do you talk about okay i'll pay for this or do you have a pot money or how do you guys do it it's really 50 50. Supposedly, okay. it was supposed to be like a more organized thing, but we haven't really gone to like opening like a joint account for like mm -hmm. all our household expenses. But that was the plan. So now everything's just 50 50 or whoever has the time. So okay. if I don't, if yeah. usually Yoni does the grocery uh, purchases now, so he's be, he'd be like, okay, so he spends for it or like he buys the dog's foods and stuff like that. But if, for example, it, like he's too busy, I have to go get it. And I'm in the area, out. then it's me. It's not, and then I don't go home and charge him for it. Like, yeah. Nothing like that. Okay, okay. But but okay, one, We're pretty low key. One more question. If Kunwari you wanna go shopping, do you need to ask permission from Yoni? So nope. super okay. independent as okay. a couple. Like he's very European. And Akoren, I'm not like the usual like the lagam Pilipina. And Akoren, I'm not the usual like the lagam Pilipina way of thinking. Like the I mean I am like I have those values, but in terms of when it comes to these things, I'm very, very modern. Mm -hmm. So I don't believe in having to ask your husband for permission, permission to buy yeah. things or like because I earn my own money, he earns his own money so he doesn't really care how I spend my money. I think it's more about when it comes to like asking permission, let's say I'm going out, it's really more about saying that okay, I'm going out with my friends, just letting him know so that he's updated and him also the same with me. Like I don't feel right telling him, no, you have to stay home. Mm. Maybe it'll change when we have kids but like for now for um, now like just individuals we're very independent and i guess it's also because the trust is so big so it's not really like no you can't do this because the trust is there so mm. so second question tips on fighting right because i noticed lang na with a lot of couples na i know or yung mga napapanood ko parang 
the number one issue is always communication. So like you, you're married and you have a really good relationship with Yoni. So how do you guys like fight or how do you discuss things that you don't really agree on? Um, we really discuss and we don't believe in shouting. So it's really a discussion. Um, we let our like we try to speak as much as possible with cooler heads. Wag wag patulan yung isa if the other one's like more. I think it's more about having an open mind and being open to discuss as opposed to pushing what you believe in, pushing your argument. It's more about it's not about no you're wrong. This is what I did. It's more about hey, I need you to hear me out because I was hurt when you did this. Parang ganon. And I guess it's also a learning process because I talked about it on my vlog also na. Parang I learned slowly na with Yoni. It's like it's more effective when I wait lang ah, sorry. Na na blank out na na blank out. Ako. Ah okay. So like being together, I've learned how Yoni which which way of like argue not arguing, which way of discuss, discussing discussing works well with Yoni. So even my tone or like how I open up the topic, it's also like I adjust that also. So I guess it's really all so number one, it's like being open to communication and really just to discussing and not to argue. I think it's different when you discuss as opposed to arguing. Discussion is like an open thing. Everyone's got an open mind. And number two, also learning how your partner um, reacts to certain things. So you should you should know like what what would give you the best outcome like how to approach your partner you should know how to approach your partner so what if kunwari meron talagang topic na you guys don't see things eye to eye so how do you resolve it agree to disagree na lang ba or parang kayo paano i think you need to at least find the common ground feeling kasi agree to disagree still parang medyo may konting ano pa yun deep inside so i think it's just trying to understand at least a part of their argument I think that's how I feel because I need someone to understand. I can't just leave it out. We all need someone who understand. understands us. <laughs> yeah. It's true. But we don't have argument like that. We really like, no, like can't really see the point of the other. It's really a healthy relationship. Okay, no. pa, pa rob off naman ng lock <laughs> Okay, last question before we sleep. Oh my God, mag 11 o'clock na. <laughs> yung panic. Uh, uh, yung panic ko kasi eh. So how do you keep the spark or the kilig alive? Because you guys have been married for almost a year and a. Oh true. But I still see na you guys are so a excited. A year na is... officially. Oh from yeah. The oh oh nga. Oh, 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 so what's the secret or any tips? Because like ako as a, as your friend, like kitang kita ko na you're still so kilig and excited to see each other. I don't know what the tips are. I really just genuinely enjoy his company. And I hope he also enjoys my company. So the kalig isn't really like hard work yet. I mean, we're not really like a five-year couple yet. So like a five-year married or ten-year married. So I think it doesn't take much work still because everything is still so new to us because we weren't living in. It was just... Kaya the kilig is still there. But we did talk about it before. Now we said that oh, we should always have our alone time even when we have kids in the future. Like we should always have that like date night. Let's not forget na. I read that because I read an oh, article. Oh, na parang, you should always put your partner first. Like I know you have kids and that's the reason why the spark goes away because everyone always puts the kids first. But but you really have to put your partner first. No, sabi nila. Put your partner. Yeah, not you, then, need not to, you need to like set aside time na kayo lang. I think that's also why like people keep saying how come you're not having kids yet? Because we really do generally want to enjoy, enjoy each, each other, other first yeah. without everything else. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Good night everyone. Good good night Bye. family Lisa. <laughs> I don't What is this? In my own heart, I'm in my own bed. Absolutely. Netflix and chill. Hopsies. Netflix and chill now. Hopsies. 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 I'm inside the Kokoro Master bedroom and I'm in my PJs. So, ako sa gitna. No! Yoni! Hopsies! Hopsies! Ayaw, grab yung cabinet niya. So, queue ko na yata yun to leave, guys. Ay, 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 ay. They're going to make some babies! Ay, 
grabe siya. Siguro PG-13. So guys, it's a Saturday and it's around lunchtime na. I wasn't able to film this morning because to be honest, I slept in. I had a really hard time sleeping last night. Ang dami-dami kong iniisip. So, I slept in along this morning. So anyway, I think today is going to be a pretty chill day for the Kokoros. Uh, Camps and I will cook lunch in a bit. And then we are going to head out because may meeting si Yoni. And then Camps and I will just probably hang out with Lorene after. So anyway, uh, here are my realizations so far. So again guys, I only spent one night with the Kokoros. And I really, really love them together. Also, another one of my most requested collabs, yung K-Camps. And I thought na, I thought of this kind of content because I also want to give you guys a little bit of insight into their marriage, into their relationship, ganyan. Because I really, ako as a friend, I really, really love them together. Like, I just wanna share na... Yoni is such a great, great guy. I really love the way he looks at cams. And ang cute niya because you know how I really, really love my coffee, right? And I told him yesterday morning to give me a straw because random fact lang to about me. Um, I can't drink my iced coffee without the straw because... Uh, it stains my teeth. So anyway, this morning when Yoni gave, gave me my coffee, may straw. So parang wala lang. It's just really so cute and I really appreciate it when a person remembers random stuff about you, diba? So yun, I really, I really, really love them together. I see, you know, minsan it's also kasi the random or the quiet moments of a couple na parang dun mo manonotice talaga. Uh, how much they love and respect each other. So, talagang, um, they're both very maalaga. They're both very considerate of each other. They talk lovingly and with so much respect. And I would really want something like that for me. And, um, again, I know I've opened up to you guys that I'm not ready for a joa anytime soon. But, you know, I also realized that um, if if the opportunity or if you know, magkaroon ng moment na love will present itself to me. I know I keep saying I'm not ready. So hopefully, when it comes, sana ma recognize ko na you know it's love or it's an opportunity for me to open up my heart once again. And um, I just really hope na and pray na I really end up with a you know with a good guy because. I know I deserve it. And we all deserve it, diba? We all deserve a great relationship. And I really admire and respect uh, my friends' relationships. Like, you know, not just Camps and Yoni, but also Chris and Lurie and ganyan. And I, I know I deserve it too, diba? Okay, so another realization na, you know, we all hear this, but relationship, especially marriage, it really takes a lot of work because you're not you're not thinking of yourself anymore. You have to consider your partner and then syempre you're managing a house, you're managing help. Like Cam and Yoni, they have three dogs, diba? So dami nang kailangan isipin. So you really, I would say, have to be selfless and considerate because yun nga, it's not just you anymore. And it's really important na you have good communication skills with your partner because ako guys, personally, ang toxic trait ko before in my past relationships, um, I tend to be selfish and especially when we fight, parang kinikimkim ko because ako lang at that time, I thought it's better for me to keep quiet than for me to say something hurtful na I'll end up regret, regretting after. But I realized na, you know, because I've been single for quite some time, it's better for me to be able to discuss what I'm feeling at the moment with my partner. Like, if something is not okay, I should be able to address it right away para mapag-usapan and malatag na lahat. And wala akong, wala akong ibibuild up na, you know, resentment or ill feelings towards my partner. So, everything should be laid out in the open. And yun nga, I think also, if you're with the right partner, then you shouldn't, you know, feel ashamed to express your feelings because that person will just get you. 
Guys, last realization I want to share kasi kailangan na namin magluto ni Cam. So, every relationship is different. Like, you know how I said na I love my friends' relationships kasi you see how much, you know, they love and respect each other. Like, Cam, Sioni, Lorene, Maggie, Chris, later, etc., etc. But also, all the relationships are very much different from the other. So, my point is, you shouldn't compare your relationships to, you know, your friends or to other people and use that as a benchmark if okay your relationship or hindi. Because again, every relationship is different. So, what's important talaga is you work on yourself para you can bring a better you to your relationship or to the table, diba? And again, there should be really good communication skills between you and your partner so that you don't build resentment and that, especially if diba, if kasal na kayo, you'll be spending the rest of your life with that person. And sana na lang, diba, na even if there are, you know, arguments or like heated discussions na there will always be respect because also I believe na, you know, once there's no more respect, parang downhill talaga siya. So, early on, you really have to say what you feel, address your issues para, you know, nothing builds up and you don't, you know, blame or end up resenting your partner. So, yun nga, respect is important, communication is important, being considerate or sensitive to the needs of your partner is also important, diba? And dami kong realizations, guys, diba? So, yeah, hopefully you guys like this video. If meron akong maisip, maybe I'll share with you later. But for now, kailangan na talaga namin magluto. So, let's go! I'll see you guys later. Okay, guys, so let's ask Yoni the same questions I asked Kams yesterday. Same? Yes! Ay, so, yeah. let's see if um the there answers are, are the same. Yes! So first question, are Why there Why would you put me into this position? Eh, <laughs> ganun talaga. <laughs> so anyway, first question. Shoot. Um are there were there any big adjustments that you had to make after getting married? Like for you personally? No, not really. I don't think we had any big adjustments what we had to make. Uh, of course it was a different situation because we weren't living together before. So there were new things, uh, but we knew each other pretty well already. So there weren't any big surprises, big reveals waiting after we get married. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't think uh, big adjustments. And for me, I've been living on my own since uh, I was 19. So for me, there was nothing, uh, nothing, uh, nothing new in that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I guess no. So sorry, cute. Uh, sorry. You, no, you you have the same answer. Really? Oh. oh. Okay. So second so, question. First one. Yeah. <laughs> survive. So, in short, they're really meant to be. Uh, so second question. It's not really a question, but for like other couples or married couples, mm. couples out there, do you have any tips on how to like fight the right? What do you mean? No, because like you and Cam, like, right when way. when I observe mm. you, like. Um, I noticed that when you guys have disagreements mm. or things that you don't, mm. you know, like see eye to eye, uh, you discuss it in a calm, like still very respectful way. So, share mm. naman some tips for other couples out there because also one of the things na that causes couples to break up is, you know, the lack of effective communication. Mm, so like sure. you, you guys have been married for almost a year. So how do you deal with like arguments yeah. or disagreements? And I think it for us, it's a bit different situation because we come from very different backgrounds. Yeah. So we, for us, it's very important to discuss because it might be that uh, I think certain way because of the upbringing and because of, yeah, of my culture yeah. and then camps think thinks the opposite because of uh, how she was brought up yeah. and where she lives. So then if we don't ever communicate why we think that way, then uh, of course uh, that will escalate if we just leave it to that, that okay, if we agree to disagree and then we are on complete opposite sides, then... Uh, there will be resentment. Exactly. Or, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think in our case it's very important that uh, you discuss and of course in other, other relationships as well it, it's important that you are able to discuss and you make the the decision from the beginning you agree that okay if we have decision uh, if we have disagreements we have to we have to talk them through and figure out why why you think that way why I think that way and uh, I think in the Philippines uh, based on my experience the, there are always always so many other people minding 
your business. So there are so many other opinions affecting yes. your opinion. Yes. So in that context as well, the discussion is very, very important and to let the other person know how you feel, why you feel that way and where is it, where it's coming from. In my culture, it's uh, more straightforward. It's more uh, individual decisions, individual uh, opinions. So I think it's a, it's a bit easier to crack through like why, why you think that way uh, when there are no, no other might be family members or yeah, friends yeah. or like there are always people affecting the, the relationship. Yeah. Just important to discuss. Uh, that has worked for us so far and uh, hopefully hopefully in the future as well we are able to do it the same way <laughs> we've been doing do it. it now. I believe you guys. Yeah. Last question. Uh, there were two only. <laughs> no, I no, agreed no. on wait, two. Wait, wait, wait. This is the most important hey. question. Do you think I'm wifey material? <laughs> ah, based on this, uh, this or, extensive... Or, okay, be nice. Do you think I'm doable if I'm not wifey material? Like, <laughs> please. So based on this uh, one day test try, Okay. Uh, you are. You are wife ah. material. And I, think, I hope uh, there are boys watching this exactly. vlog. <laughs> So Lisa's number is 0917 but Yes, <laughs> Sla or slide into my DMs, mm. guys No, but Lisa is nice Aww. and uh, she's very willing to throw her out there to be a wife, to be a girlfriend So uh, <laughs> someone, some lucky guy should uh, hit Aww. her up and uh, and uh, yeah, go from so, there But definitely wife material Thank you, <laughs> you're such a great friend <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you forgot bye, something. Bye. Why are you? Are you going to miss me, Hobsies pala? Uh, not so much. Bye. <laughs> bye. bye. Thanks for Bring, me, hey, Hobsie. pen pen back. Return pen pen. Ako legal wife. Ako legal wife. <laughs>